news here at 6 o'clock. An Austin firefighter arrested for trying to pay a teenager for sex. 53-year-old Keith Radovich is charged with solicitation of prostitution. KXA's Brianna Hollis joining us live in our newsroom to tell us more about the APD sting that led to this. Well, Robert, the APD Human Trafficking Unit conducted the operation Saturday. According to this affidavit, Radovich thought he was meeting a 16-year-old girl at the Candlewood Inn and Suites. On March 12th, investigators say Keith Radovich showed up to this hotel with $400 in cash. Court documents say he agreed to use that money to pay for sex with someone he thought was a teenage girl he met online. His arrest affidavit states Radovich was really talking to an undercover APD detective. Police say when he entered room 103 at the Candlewood Inn and Suites off of 290 near 183, APD arrested him. Austin Fire Association President Bob Nick says he will not comment on this case directly until it goes through the judicial process, but he provided the following insight. If a person is guilty of a crime against a woman, a firefighter, then we don't consider him a firefighter. I mean, they were never a firefighter in our eyes, and every firefighter feels that way. But I'd ask everybody to withhold judgment until we know the, the facts of the case. We I also asked him about the retirement process for firefighters, firefighters, given that a spokesperson for AFD told us Radovich retired Monday, two days after the arrest. Nick says firefighters um, can retire without yeah, notice and keep their pension, they even could, if they they're charged with a crime. And what that would do is it would eliminate any sort of administrative investigation the person would need to go through, perhaps. Uh, and they would still be subject to all of the criminal charges. Can your benefits and pension retroactively be taken away if you're convicted? Not in our industry. Now we have attempted to reach out to Radovich, but we have not heard back. According to a case summary, he was released from jail Sunday on a $6,000 bond. Austin police say they also arrested 52-year-old Jose Hasso during the sting, but in a separate incident. Back to you.